Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. Now this one is going to be on Drew McIntyre, the Slaw. Um, <clears throat> so Drew looks awesome. His his animations, his art uh, look fantastic. He is a very cool looking zombie. He is the free card this month. He is a striker. Um, there's a lot of possibilities with his builds. I actually have six builds for you guys. Um, six different possibilities. All of them, the strap is going to stay the same. Uh, you can see the gem damage right around 75% on black, you know, and the, which is the gems he's generating. I have a flat uh, black gem damage, move damage strap. So it's going to add 37k. Um, other than that, nothing too crazy. We're going to run two words for you on all the builds. It's a very good plate. 50% chance to create two random X-Break gems each time you use a signature move or swipe a gem. Uh, hopefully increase our destruction. So uh, let's get started with the first move set. There's uh, six of them to get through. So this one's available at four star. I'm going to have uh, like three different four stars, uh, two five stars, and a three star. Um, so let's get started with this one. This one features the Future Shock DDT. 11 MP finisher, deal 70k damage, and swap a 6x1 random area into green gems. The bite, 9 MP black move, deal 48k damage and gain 7 yellow MP. And the Glasgow kiss, deal 33k damage and choose a 4x area to swap into black gems. For the entourage, we're going to be running uh, Kofi for 4 yellow MP to start. Uh, Dude Love for black gems, do 35% more damage. NWO Big Show for 20% in chance, chance increase for black gems on the initial board. And then Eddie for 20% less damage from green gems. You can actually substitute any offensive coach you might have in there, whether it's black move damage, black gem damage, yellow move damage, anything like that. Um, I just have Eddie in there to keep from using a rare offensive uh, trainer. And we are going against um, Hall of Fame Eddie on the road. So it will at least lessen some of his green gem damage. I have tour perks of only plus one MP, no bonus on a match. Drew's monthly bonus is active, and it's he's got a few good ones. All color moves start with two more MP. He's generating three more, and black gems do 50% more damage. So he's generating a lot, and they're, the blacks are doing 50% more damage, and all the moves start with plus two. Uh, so keep that in mind. And let's get in here and take a look. Drew's pretty solid, actually. He's got a lot of fun different builds you can potentially run with him. Um, so I'll just throw a bunch of them out there and you can see what you guys like. All of them are pretty solid. It shouldn't take long to get through six builds. Uh, I'm running Double Fury with everything. That's what I'd recommend for everything. Um, so right off the bat, you can see going with the NWO show... Uh, sometimes you'll get a bunch of blacks like this, and I'm just going to go for the pin and cause as much destruction as I can with the black gems. This should hit pretty hard. Sadly, no cascade, but we did get a 375k hit out of it. Not too bad. Um, that obviously loads the other blacks. And then um, we have a lot of pin bar to work with, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this one, which is going to reload it, the yellow move. And hold off on the finisher. Since we do have pin meter to work with, let's use it. We may cause a cascade anyway, but that's okay. Um, you know, the way it is sometimes. But placing it here, we probably won't cascade to our deaths. Perfect. And now we can reload it again. Two words for you went off, which is great. Um, so here's where you have a choice especially with two words going off um we can choose to hit the finisher and it's going to swap a random area into greens which you know greens will do okay damage or we can just hit this move yet again and pick up some of these uh cross breaks which is what uh i think is the better damage considering the situation trying to see if i can do anything extra creative this looks pretty decent
A little bit of a cascade there. 423k. Let's see if he can kick out. Looks like he's probably going to. Yep. No big deal. We should be able to take him out next turn. Yes, let's try and leave some blacks on the board. Should have no problems kicking out. And it's very likely in this that you won't end up using the finisher, but you can. There are times when it's good, especially if you don't have two words for you on. Um, we can just hit the finisher this time. Why not? Um, it probably would be safer to hit the 4 by 2 Hit this area here. Um, get rid of his cross break. Pick up one or yeah, cross X break. Hit our X break. Um, but let's just hit the finisher. You guys can see the animation. Uh, it'll hit fairly hard. If we're lucky, we'll pick up one of our breaks in the process. Either way, I don't worry about kicking out at all. Hey, there we go. We picked him up and got a nice cascade. Fortune favors the bold. Pretty big hit on the finisher. Eddie's not going to be able to kick out of that. There's no way. Um, so we can go to the next build, which is a variation of this. Of course, you saw we didn't really use the finisher too much. So my thought was, well, let's do the same thing, except instead of the finisher, let's put the other yellow move in. So trainers actually stay identical. We're going to swap the finisher for the overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplex which is a 8 MP yellow, deal 24,000 damage, and make six random purple gems into black gems. Um, actually, I think it might be seven. I was going off of memory there. It is indeed seven. So we'll swap that one in uh, for the finisher, and then I'll reorganize my moves, and we'll get right back out there and hit it again. This probably flows better. Um, you can get a bunch of black gems on the board, create some pretty big uh, clusters. Obviously, uh, he's hitting a little bit harder than he will without the 50% gem damage boost. And this moveset is also available at 4-star. So you have options, right? Um, we can turn all the purples black. We're most likely only going to cause one cascade, so might as well do that, get some extra damage. No reason not to. Then we can hit this guy. And like right here is a pretty nice pocket uh, we could potentially hit. Here is even better. Go ahead and hit that. This should be hit pretty hard. 350k, not bad. Ooh, Eddie with the Cascades. Yeah, let's just get rid of his green. This should recycle both yellows. There, two words finally went off. Excellent. Hasn't been going off too much, to be honest. There we go. That's more like it. And here, we can connect three of them. Hit there, there, and there. Uh, so I think overall, that'll net us the most damage. We could move into the cluster like right here and we would hit a bunch right but also if we hit this um we should get a lot of damage out of that too so let's go for this and see what it looks like 
Very nice. Two words for you is such a good plate. I don't know if Eddie's going to kick out of that. No, he won't. All right. Moving right along. Next build set. We're going to keep two of the moves in, and we're going to go tricolor. Shout out to my boy DV Davey D, the innovator of the tricolor offense. Loading times are a little bit long today. Right, mostly going to stay the same. Going to pop in one rare trainer alternative here um, just to show you guys uh, some of the possibilities. Uh, no big deal if you don't have Hall of Fame Bree, though. Not the end of the world. We're just getting one extra black uh, gem out of it, so... So the idea with this one is start with the green, reload the black, uh, hit the yellow, which reloads the black, and whenever the green comes around, you can toss that one into your rotation. Just uh, showing uh, his versatility, different options. If you have a trainer in use somewhere else, uh, you can use steel instead of uh, Kofi like we were using. Just gives you more options. Um, this one would also, I believe, be a four-star moveset. Oh, I should probably actually read off the green move. Uh, spinning Future Shock, 8 MP green, deal 29k damage and make 5 random gems into black gems. We're going to bring Steel in. Uh, other than that, we're not going to change too much. Um, charge, Steel. I'm going to leave Dude Love. We'll put Bree in for Hall of Fame, or for uh, NWO Show. And I have Lana in there. I'll just leave Eddie in since he's green. Doesn't really matter. Um, again, you could substitute any offensive kind of card you have if you want. Um, it's more just a placeholder during these. I could also put like Elias or Rikishi or some of that, but you can see I don't really not really having a charge a charge issue, even without a uh, plus one on a match. So. Uh, feud and tours and stuff, you're likely not to run into too many issues. Drew's pretty solid. Uh, and there's some fun stuff coming. So he's definitely, I think, very, very solid. I'm definitely going to take mine to four-star gold. Zombie month, I want to get the 300 black shards from his talent up. So he's going to go four-star gold as long as I can. So we're going to make ten randoms into black. It would be 9 without Bree during the month, like I said, not the end of the world. Of course, that's also at 5-star silver. It'll be a little bit less lower. That was nice. So, I'm going to get greedy. And actually take a swipe. Hope we don't cascade. See if we can get more um, X-breaks from two words for you. Okay. No X-breaks, but, you know, a little bit more damage. And I see exactly where I want to put this. Beautiful location. That's going to hit all kinds of stuff. Very nice. Nice cascade. Boom. 621k. Not too shabby. Looks like Eddie is going to no-sell it. So the yellow's full, but it's going to refill the black, so we might as well just take the 80k damage. Uh, we have a little bit of pin bar to work with, so then we're faced again with the choice. Uh, do we try and get back to the black move and, and recycle again, or do we try and end it here? Um, so, you know, we can potentially hit this, get a little bit of cross break action. Uh, we could go up here and hit all of that. 
uh, which looks pretty juicy, or we could do this and play for no pin, and let's do that. Why not? See what happens. Ah, we pinned. Oh well. We still hit fairly hard. I will finish him next turn. We were in no danger of him doing anything, so I figured why not go for it. And since it just recycles itself, you know. There we go. Some two words action. And this should absolutely do it. Nice little cascade. And there we go. Okay. Um... Next, we're going to see a 5-star move set. So we're going to bring the 5-star move in. And do something similar to what we did before. Except uh, this time, it's going to allow more flexibility. And we're going to use a another MP trainer to start. So it's basically the third version of this move set. Um, with three different starting MP trainers. Switching the moves around a little bit, too, of course. This five-star move, by the way, uh, this Claymore Kick, five MP black, deal 16k damage and destroy two random black gems. At five-star, you're destroying three random black gems. Um, if there's a black destroy MP coach, not destroy MP, but destroy gem coach, that would be really really good because then every turn you'd be filling it um on your next turn uh without having to use a destroy coach anyway um i went over that move so let's go to the entourage we're gonna switch steel for bray And then we're just going to go back to Eddie and Lana in here at Coaches. Obviously, if you had Boogeyman, Boogeyman would be the play. If you wanted to use Hall of Fame Ted, he would be great. Um, Austin, uh, Motu Austin would be good. Black and Yellow Gems, so all those are fine options. Gooker would be uh, great as well if you have Gooker. So let's see how this one runs. Pretty much all the movesets are pretty solid. Um, and can can definitely do some things, so especially with this bonus. So basically what you're doing with Bray uh, is you're able to load the bite. Since we're destroying two blacks, looks like we potentially could cause a huge cascade here. We didn't, alright. And that loads the bite, so now we can load that 4x2 move again. Starting to look a little bit familiar, probably. Um, that's excellent, we can get rid of his greens, hit two of the cross breaks. Actually, we can hit three. And yeah, this is perfect. Because we're going to row break that twice. Very nice. Eddie almost had issues kicking out there. Excellent. Two words for you, plates doing its work. quite well and let's hit this here another 355k we've recycled Eddie kicked out It's 
very likely should be able to end it this turn. Let's do that. Yep, he's gonna kick out. So we're gonna end up taking all of his life instead. Not quite enough oomph behind it. It needs just a little bit more. Okay. Now we're going to get to the last two movesets, which I would say are the ones that I like the most probably. Uh, the tricolor one actually is pretty slick uh, as well. Uh, but the last two is we're going to have the three star and then a five star with really big power gems. <laughs> two words for you going off there. All right, so three-star moveset's going to be double green-black, a little more traditional here. Um, definitely like uh, Last Outlaw Undertaker, just like I do on uh, Orton. You start putting uh, Taker on, or not Taker, um, oh, Authority Triple H, and there's just so many power gems out, you're constantly erasing them. Um, they're getting swiped and broken and that sort of thing. So I much prefer 9k Last Outlaw Undertaker. Uh, he works a lot better in these situations, in my opinion. Um, but let's put the moves in first. <laughs> Got ahead of myself. Spinning Future Shock, which you guys have seen. Then we're going to bring the Big Boot in, which is another 8 MP green. Deal 33k damage and choose 5 gems to make into power gems of strength 24,000. And then we're going to run the finisher because uh, it recycles the greens. Which we have also seen. The Future Shock DDT, the 70k damage and swap a 6 by one area into green gems. Entourage, like I said. Uh, Last Outlaw Undertaker, steal for more green MP. And then we're going to put Hall of Fame Nikki at 9k in there, so that we're then making 7 power gems. Uh, right around, I think it's like 40k by the time we're done here. So 280k in power gems. Less to choose, less time, less likely to get erased. I much prefer this. I really wish the random was a choose. Uh, then you could set up some really big damage with these power gems, but it is what it is. Uh, obviously, um, Hall of Fame uh, Bree would be great to generate an extra black. That would be super useful. You could also toss Elias on there. So when you're choosing these, try and stay away from spots where a match, one match like, you know, I mean, if it hits there, then it breaks there. I try to stay away from those. Um, you know, maybe in the corner, less likely to get matched. Loot box gem here, but they're not, you know, right next to others. Sometimes there's nothing you can do, but it is what it is, you know? So typically I'll do something like that and hope for the best on these randoms. So this is where two words is not as useful 
because we're trying to control the pin board or the pin bar a little bit so sometimes the two words could bite us in the butt um however it did not this time and we made a five match um one two three four six uh so you know i could take this five here um have the two words play go i could take this three here and three in pin which is what i'm gonna do get a little cascade get some action going 380k damage on turn one um probably in a perfect world it would be better to use the finisher there so we'd be hitting the power gems again um and then you're what you could we'd probably win on turn two when everything goes properly Uh, we still potentially could here, depending on what kind of cascade we get, if we don't wipe out our power gems and stuff. Still gonna hit pretty hard. Like that. Okay. So, last... I like that moveset a lot, actually. That's available at 3-star. This is probably what will run the majority of the, the MLC, except uh, Hall of Fame... Um, Bree in there, and I would say that's what I'll probably run most of the time. Now, if you're trying to punch up above your weight, this last move set is going to be really good, uh, and also can do some damage in a hurry. If you get a green match on turn one, it gets quite large. So, like, if I need to beat something way above Drew's level during the MLC. This is how I'll run him if I had him at 5-star, which I won't, unless I pull him. Uh, but, you know, for future reference, this is a 5-star uh, moveset, and it's pretty cool. You could also do the same thing with the trainers with both greens, and then um, MP up, uh, show a part up during the month, and that will do a lot for you as well. So we've seen all the moves, for so play more kick and big boot. And then we're just going to double down on our power gem, guys. So we're choosing 7 at 51k damage each. Uh, 350k. We do want that green match turn 1. Uh, so we're going to put Ember Moon in. If you don't have Ember Moon, that's okay. Um, she's still kind of rare. Just more likely to get the green match, uh, which is really what i want so i can show you guys how it works when it works we might not get the green match though so sometimes that's just the way it is with the board we don't have a green match black match is good as well because we can load the green through the finisher and we have neither. That's okay. Two words comes in really handy uh, for this build as well. Uh, for when the board doesn't cooperate, hopefully the two words plate will. So far it's not. Still waiting. And it's still not. Well, here we go. Now we can at least do some things. All right. So we want to get these power gems out. Um, and we're just gonna get two massive ticks, right? We're gonna we're gonna destroy the the black gems with the destroy move, and we're gonna tick for three hundred and I believe it's fifty k. Perfect. We did four hundred thousand there. Now we're gonna do the finisher, and. Um, you don't want to put these too much in the same row in case it runs in this row. So try and limit it to one per row. 
Of course it went in the one with two. Why wouldn't it? You can see 500k finisher and we recycled the power gem move. He might no sell it. Nope. That kept him down. So that moveset can be pretty great and effective as well. Um, so I think those last two are my favorites. I won't probably get mine five star unless I somehow magically get a pull. So I plan on running him with the three star uh, moveset. And if I need to punch up, do a uh, fight against somebody much higher than me, I'll just swap Steel out for Nakamura, uh, not Nakamura, yeah, Nakamura, and then um, Hall of Fame Bree, and that'll be the variations I run for the MLC. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. There's got to be a build in here you like somewhere, I would think. There's six of them. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and remember to like, subscribe, and share as that helps me out. Do you want to say I appreciate all you guys tuning in and watching my videos? It's, it's awesome for me, and uh, thanks again, guys. Good luck out there.